What's going on Muscle Monsters, Align Gonzalez here and in this video I'm going to show you the three steps that I took to take my bench press from 185 for 10 to 225 for 10 and then finally double body weight. So at 150 pounds I was able to bench press 300 pounds. All right, so 300 pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but for a guy who's 150 pounds, that's twice his body weight, okay? So that's an elite level bench press, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. The first thing I did was I became more efficient on the bench, okay? Before, I was basically just on racking, doing my reps, and racking just like most people do in the gym, okay? When I fixed my form, I focused on uh, my three points of contact. So I kept my feet firmly planted on the ground. Um, sometimes I would use my toes. Sometimes I would keep the feet flat. Either way, whatever's more comfortable for you, you need your feet planted firmly into the ground. Okay, that's number one. And that's the biggest thing because with leg drive, you're gonna be able to increase your bench press without changing anything else if you're not already using leg drive. Okay, so you want your feet planted on the floor, your ass has to remain on the bench, right? This is for safety purposes. Um, and then your shoulders need to be retracted. So back, down, nice and tight. Okay, so your three points of contact are your shoulder blades digging into the bench, your ass and your feet. So your back, there should be a small arch there where you could probably fit uh, a tennis ball. Okay, that's your setup. The next thing is you want to make sure you're tucking your elbows. A lot of guys, they're bench pressing with their elbows flared. This is putting a lot of stress on the shoulders and it's not gonna allow you to lift as much as possible. So a simple cue is to bring the bar right below the nipple line. If you're there, chances are your elbows are nice and tucked. This is gonna be safe and efficient, okay? The next thing you wanna do is you want to increase the frequency in which you're bench pressing. Okay, for a while, I was bench pressing once a week. And then I finally got smart, started bench pressing twice a week, went up a bit, and that was great. But it wasn't until I started bench pressing three times a week that my bench shot up. Okay, and the reason is because strength is a skill, right? Just like any other skill. The more you practice it, the better you get. So start bench pressing more frequently. All right, it's not about doing more volume, although you will uh, do more volume because you're bench pressing more, uh, but it's more so about the practice, right? The more you bench press, the better you're gonna get at the bench press, and thus the more efficient you become and the more weight you can lift, okay? So if you're bench pressing twice a week now, start bench pressing three times per week. And then lastly, start undulating the rep ranges. Okay, have a day where you're going light, maybe like 70%, right? Maybe you're doing 10 or 12 reps. Another day where it's like a moderate intensity, maybe, you know, 80% or so, where you're doing like eight reps. And then have a heavy day where you're doing three to five reps. What's gonna happen is that strength that you're building from the heavier loads is gonna spill over into your volume work, all right? Because if you are stronger in the three, and five rep range or three to five rep range, you're gonna be stronger in the 10 to 12, for example, which will allow you to do more work, which causes more hypertrophy, which increases strength. So it becomes like this virtuous cycle. So what I was doing was running a DUP program, right? Where exactly what I just said, it was what I was doing. I was having, I had my light days, I had my moderate days, and I had my heavy days. Okay, at the end of the week, I would do a few sets and then I would do an AMRAP set, as many reps as possible, right? And so I would take whatever I got from that AMRAP, say I did, I don't know, 12 reps from my AMRAP, I would plug that into my one rep max calculator and that's how I would cal calculate the one rep max that I'm basing my averages on, right? So the next week, I know exactly what weights I need to use, all right? And that's how I would progress. I would progress based on how well I did on that AMRAP set. Typically, every week, that AMRAP will go up a little bit, and by the end of the week, say for example, the following week, you're using a little bit heavier of a load, right? And so maybe instead of 10 reps, you can only get nine, but when you plug it into your one rep max calculator, your one rep max might have gone up. 
Maybe it stayed the same. These are adjustments you're gonna have to figure out and get through, but ultimately you want to train light, heavy, and medium. You wanna undulate the rep ranges so that you can get these different adaptations and let those work together to increase your hypertrophy, right? Bigger chest equals bigger bench and ultimately get you a bigger bench press. So if you want to see exactly how I laid out the bench press, right? As far as the one rep maxes I was using, right? The percentages and things of that nature, I'm going to link a video down below of the initial program I started DUP with, but I'm also going to give you my uh, free chest training DVD series. It's completely free. It's got a bunch of chest training tips for both strength and hypertrophy. All you have to do is click the link in the description, go there, put your name, put your email address, and you'll get instant access to all of those videos. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, click the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk in the next one. Peace.